Fires in general affect climate through several different mechanisms. One of the most obvious mechanisms is that they release uh, greenhouse gases, including carbon dioxide, uh, and also methane, which is, a, which, is, which is an even more potent greenhouse gas. Fires also create an enormous amount of smoke, and smoke particles uh, play a complex role in climate. So they have sort of an immediate short-term cooling effect at the surface by reducing uh, sunlight absorption at the ground. However, soot particles can either scatter sunlight or absorb sunlight. And those particles that absorb sunlight uh, end up heating the atmosphere. So they're heating the atmosphere but reducing the amount of sunlight at the surface. And ultimately, that extra warmth in the atmosphere from the soot-induced heating can ultimately uh, create a warming effect on climate. And then a third sort of less obvious way through which they influence climate is that uh, they alter the surface reflectance. So after a fire uh, sweeps through an area, the burned area tends to reflect more sunlight out to space. That's especially important in areas that receive snowfall because the snowfall will tend to blanket a burned area um, much more effectively than it will blanket a, uh, a mature forest. And as a result, the snowfall ends up causing the surface to be much more reflective in a burned area than it would in a, uh, a non-burned area. The greenhouse gas emissions, those are very long-lived, on the order of a century in the case of CO2 or uh, on the order of a decade for methane. The aerosol effects that I described are very short-lived. And by aerosols, I'm talking about the soot aerosols from the smoke. Those particles tend to uh, come out of the atmosphere very quickly within about one week. And then the change in surface reflectance, that will last as long as it takes for the forest to regrow. And so that can be uh, anywhere from typically about 50 to up to 100 years, depending on the environment. Whether the net effect of a fire is positive or negative on climate, whether it has a net warming or cooling effect, uh, depends on a variety of factors. Uh, and especially where and when the fire occurs. And so fires that occur at, at higher latitudes up in the boreal forest region are more likely to induce a cooling effect on climate, surprisingly. Uh, and that's because of uh, the effect that snow cover has on the burned area uh, after the fire compared with the, the effect that snow has on the, uh, on the forest area before the fire. Tropical fires are more likely to have uh, a long-term warming effect because of their CO2 emissions.